The Prime Minister has repeatedly claimed that the Parliament's native voice was not about treaty. But a small detail in photo operation for the yes side seems to be weakening this claim. In photo of Anthony Albania and Teal Crossbencher, Nation Senator Pauline Hansen, published on the social media site yesterday, he realized that Kung Deputy Monique Ryan holds laptop with label, voice. Senator Hansen, please explain? Reset on the laptop with subtitles. Teal independents show support of the domestic sound to parliamentary referendum yes. Kung Deputy Monique Ryan. Voice. Antlers. Gercek. This is not about an agreement. He stressed Albania. I can't say it more clearly. Compensation has nothing to do with what they will vote later this year. At the end of last year, Mr. Albanese was depicted at a midnight oil concert, wearing a t-shirt with the voice. Treaty and truth of his words. Mr. Arnavut. Last year with the slogan sound. Treaty. True we wear oil t-shirt at midnight. Resim Daily Mail Australia Prime Minister Anthony Arbanese had previously committed all the elements of the Uluru expression, which means, sound, treaty, truth, to, fully, if indigenous voice passes into parliament in upcoming referendum. Next step will be Makaratrata Commission, which will lead process of agreement between First Nations and federal, state and local governments. The Prime Minister called Uluru expression to dress of Gettysburg, called a short document in production, which is the kindergarten class in speech speech. Queensland Senator Pauline Hansen picture Glenn Hampson however. According to Sky News server PETA Credlin, FOI documents published by the National Native Australians Agency earlier this year. Mr. Arnavitz Uluru Uluru as a two-minute, reading the two-minute, OKUKGE, OK is actually 26 pages of 2017 declaration. The full statement was included in a long NIAA certificate with minutes from the consultation of approximately 1,200 local people who informed the latest statements and 13 regional dialogue consultation activity. An Uluru is whole of the 26 pages of each Australian's heart that every Australian should read before each Australian votes in next referendum, said, with Frank Chung.